Lots of new elements have been included in Build It 2016 to enhance the capabilities of the software. Build It 2016 has introduced the option to render models with perspective. Using the view set current view command, we can now set the view to be in perspective to give better depth perception and more realistic rendering. Also in the view set current view command, we have included the option to define section planes. This feature can be used to unclutter the view when working on a model. With that in mind, we have made it easier to manage the views by including a views section in the object manager. You can now quickly save the current view with the sections you have just defined. Continue working with another view, and recall previously saved views at a later point to easily include them in your reports. Build It now offers powerful new filtering features to augment the search function of the object manager. We can now use type-based filters to narrow down the search results. These filters include a wide variety of criteria such as type of geometry, tolerance evaluation, status, and so on. This makes it easy to view failed tolerances or surfaces which were not yet measured. Also, in the vein of improving the user experience, we have added options to manipulate the view using only the mouse, removing the need to hold the shift key to rotate and pan the view. When working with laser trackers, it is sometimes useful to send the beam to a specified location on the part being inspected, without dragging the probe to that location. Previously, Builder only allowed users to aim the beam at points, and in this release, we are extending this feature to all geometries. The Inspect Target command is a great way of ensuring that measurements are evenly distributed across the surface. Builder 2016 now has the option to display the deviations from the surface being inspected in real time within the control window, allowing you to validate your alignment while you inspect your part. Automation and processes have become even more powerful and flexible in Build It 2016 while fully preserving compatibility with processes created in earlier versions of Build It. For a better integration of user-defined commands, processes can now each be given their own custom icons. New variable types are available in Automate It. These allow you to include new UI elements, such as user-defined lists, color picker panels, and checkboxes in your command forms to be used in conjunction with branching conditions within processes. A great addition to Build It 2016 is a new simulated device called the Mouse Probe. It is now possible to move a simulated probe in the 3D view as if it were an actual probe, using only the mouse. This feature allows for quicker and more intuitive process recording, as well as more realistic troubleshooting. Automate It now offers a direct way of evaluating arithmetic, logical expressions, and advanced mathematical functions. These can be seamlessly integrated within your new or existing processes without having to resort to additional commands or operations. Another powerful feature included with Automate It in Build It 2016 is the possibility to break out of looping operations by including a branch out condition, allowing for even more dynamic automated solutions. Build It has become more versatile with this latest version by being able to evaluate additional GD&T tolerances as well as offering new means of visualizing measurements and data. Diameter tolerances can now be evaluated using values taken outside of Build It. This allows the use of more precise or better adapted instruments to measure features that could not be evaluated properly using a portable CMM. With Build It 2016's GD&T Evaluation command, you can easily visualize the actual geometries based on your measurements to better understand the GD&T results and to assist you in fixing your part. To better visualize the results of the analyses being performed, we have included the option to display a histogram of the current analysis in the main view. This is useful to investigate the cause of unexpected deviations and to validate your alignment. Build It supports material condition modifiers for datum features. The automatically computed alignments will be optimized such that you can benefit from the added bonus from your datums and have the most tolerances pass. New in Build It 2016 is the ability to generate reports in a quick, easy, and customizable way while keeping full backwards compatibility with previous versions. To make the creation and management of the reports more convenient and efficient, we have added a new panel to the user interface. This panel contains all of the necessary tools, allowing you to quickly and easily manage multiple reports inside of a single model. Different types of entities can now coexist inside the same report, as they will behave both according to their type and the chosen settings. Including an element in the report is done directly from the 3D view or from the object manager by sending it to the report panel. These elements can then be reordered and managed easily inside the report panel, allowing you full control over the final output. Reports can be populated from scratch by creating a blank report or organized beforehand using report templates, giving flexibility to your reporting process. 
Templates provide a powerful tool to guarantee the uniformity and repeatability of your report, as well as automatically verifying that you have included all of the required elements in your report. As before, reports can be outputted as PDF, Excel, or text files. They contain customizable formatting such as the title, header, footer, and company logo. You can download the latest version of Buildit by visiting our website at builditsoftware.com.